going on everyone it's rando i'm back with another one so i had a lot of requests uh, after i mentioned that i got the apache ig800 case so today we're going to go through and i'm actually going to pick out the firearms that are going to go in it and i said firearms because i thought i'm putting two in there and i'm going to show you how i'm going to plot this one out because it's a lot different it's a lot different than than the smaller cases as far as trying to plot out because i'm going to put a long gun in here now i kind of did a coin toss between two firearms that I had and uh, I actually utilized some friends to kind of help me decide and just said hey which one do you think would be better my AR platform or uh, 300 blackout bolt gun and they're like do the bolt gun so I was like okay so that's what we're gonna throw in there along with a pistol so stay with me and I'll show you the case here real quick because these things are huge so this is the 9800 definitely a big case um, in all honesty, just hauling this to the range, you're definitely going to get a workout. So let's go ahead and do like more of an up close. I'm going to lay the firearms out on it and then we're going to go from there. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. All right. We have it inside now. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and unlock it. So with the smaller case, it did kind of stay open for us. Like, uh, like the lid didn't fall completely back. That's okay that this one isn't, uh, you know, Gonna store some long guns in here now we just will show you it has the regular kind of egg crate look you know it's about how thick it is on the top or pick apart foam here um and then you have your underneath layer which is about that thick to the bottom of the case now these this section here doesn't have any areas that could be cut or anything like that so we're really just focusing on this center section here so let's go ahead and line up the firearm that i chose to be in here all right so what i plan on putting in is actually this gen 2 300 blackout ruger american ranch it's a nice firearm itself i like to go ahead out and shoot it especially nice to throw a can on even though it comes with this nice muzzle brake one thing that i have on here is a optic kind of cockeyed to the side so i can turn it sideways for up close shots especially with subs because reaching out a little bit farther uh, with this scope and subs there is definitely some variation with bullet drop so let's i'm going to just show you the layout of this one and then i also plan on throwing in there my nice FDE Glock clone. This is the Grit Grips frame and an AIM Surplus slide that's already coated with camo. So we're gonna get that lined up in there and I'll just kind of show you how I have it plotted out. All right, so this is a basic layout of kind of how I have it here. Uh, being able to incorporate the firearms themselves, leaving a big space here, actually because I'm gonna be getting a new can and I wanna have it in here uh, with this firearm. So this is kind of how it's gonna be for now. Let me go ahead and show you how I plan on plotting it out and then cutting it out. So in order to do this part here, I'm actually gonna use this metallic marker. Uh, it's white, so I'm gonna actually trace this out. Now with doing, whenever I did the initial case, putting all my like pistols in there, it was real nice. You just set it down. You kind of can you know see how many of these areas you gotta cut out. But this one's gonna actually require a little bit more angular cutting in some spots. So let me go ahead and mark it out and we'll go from there. Okay, so there's this up front. Of course, just wanted to show you, everything's always unloaded. So this is kind of where we're at with this. And then with these, at least I don't necessarily want to throw each mag in. So. Looks like these are going to be a little bit easier to do the mags themselves. I'm actually just going to use those like that. Okay, so I got that one part done. Let's go ahead over to the pistol itself. Thank you. 
odd looking pistol now. But let's go ahead and see if we can get this in here. And I'll go ahead and mark these out and we'll be good. My daughter asked me if she could help, so here we go. Ninja cut to that line, great job. Okay, now we're gonna stop. And now I want you to do this line here. Go ahead and follow that line, see how that perforation is. Oh, nope, follow the perforation. You can do that one, right there, that's good. And then go ahead and do this. Yep, go ahead and follow this one up like this, because you don't want to go at an angle. You remember, always cut straight, never towards yourself. Okay, like that. Good job. That's that one. And then we can go to this one. Good job. Let me see. Did you get it? Okay, good job. Now we'll test fit. See, there we go. Perfect. Now we got to do this one. So remember, cut right along that perforation, okay? Whenever I was cutting, I actually took it out and put it on cardboard. I'd suggest you doing that. If not, you're going to cut right through the foam here. All right, let's go ahead and put it back in the case. We kind of got everything test fit here. Some mags, our firearm. For this one, I actually took and, so you can see the lines where I cut, but I actually cut the foam in half and laid it back in because if not, the, the firearm actually goes down in way too much and I think would have too much room to flop around in there. Um, and of course, we got to coat it with something, so let's go talk about that next. All right, here's like a good rough in of what everything looks like. Again, put the foam here so everything sits a little bit higher. Get some mags gonna have a spot here for more mags as well as a can and got some space down here I think that it's good to leave some you know chunk to it because if we don't uh, you know everything's gonna have more liability to flop around in there well let's go see what else we have in store all right now's the part where we gotta where we gotta coat it uh, and make sure it lasts a bit longer and stays together now last time I used Plasti Dip worked out pretty good but this time I'd like to try something else let's do a Flex Seal some people had really good results with it. So let's go ahead and apply a bunch of coats to it and see how it holds up. All right, so obviously we need to do this in a well-ventilated area and it already seems like it's gonna go on a lot thicker. Yeah, this actually goes on a lot thicker than the plastic dip. Definitely want to get these edges, make sure, you know, everything on the inside is staying together as well. I actually think we might be able to get away with less coats of it than we did the Plasti Dip. Definitely thicker. Definitely go, definitely going on more so like a, like a rubber than, than the last stuff. So I'll keep doing, we'll keep doing this and get back to it. All right, got it all painted up. You can see a difference between the, these at least I can, the color layers here as far as the original and with the Flex Seal on it. Now the Flex Seal, to me, with only doing like three coats, I think it was, I actually got that out of one can. Um, it does feel a little bit more sturdy compared to the Plasti Dip. You can see that the, the perforated edges aren't breaking open just like they weren't with the you know, Plasti Dip. Going around this way and showing you. But let's get the firearms back in here. Overall, pretty darn pleased with it. All right, here's what it looks like loaded up thus far. Really like it, turned out pretty darn good with the Flex Seal. Overall looks good. One thing I will say though, as I went through doing this, I know that you can usually get some other brand cases for a little bit more money or even a little bit less money. Whenever I'm referring to this one, I'm gonna say that buying this half price made between 85 and 90 doll hairs whenever you pay full price you're looking at 170 to 180 and at that full price point not gonna lie i probably wouldn't go for it at the half price point definitely so if they're ever on sale 
that's whenever you need to grab them. All right, before we close this one out, just wanna show you that whenever you get this 9800 model, you do have a carry handle on both ends, as well as some nice rubber wheels. You have your main carry handle. You got four latches. You got two spots there and there to put a lock on. And then here's your other carry handle. It's pretty cool. This one, the other one, like the other case, the 4800 actually didn't show a firearm on it. Now this one does, because obviously it's kind of meant for that. But overall, really like it. Definitely, definitely a very, very heavy case, especially once you have some firearms in it. And if you're gonna be carrying any ammo in it. But that's what this one definitely is made for, is long guns. It's pretty sweet though. All right. Thanks for sticking along for the ride while I showed you this. Um, turned out to be uh, pretty, pretty sweet. A little bit more cutting and a little bit more actually plotting out involved whenever you're looking at doing a long gun as well as a handgun in here. Ultimately though, not too bad. Worked out pretty well. Uh, I'm pleased with it and how it turned out. Like I said, this is a very heavy case and I really don't recommend storing your firearms in cases like this, especially once you put a coating on the foam itself. Now obviously foam itself in general is abrasive and then once you coat it, even though it's a rubberized kind of coating, it still will show some wear on your firearm if you leave it in here as storage. I would strictly use it for transport and stuff, but it makes it nice transport. I, I, use, I put this firearm because this is one that I like to shoot. I actually plan on hunting with this one, so might as well, you know, for transport reasons, instead of a soft case, have the scope and everything be protected by this nice hard shell. Um, ultimately though, not, not a bad deal, especially because I got it on their half off sale. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for all the suggestions and everything through the other videos. Thanks for the great reception with it. I really appreciate everyone watching and everyone's feedback. And I try to, I try to reach out every comment that's left. I try to leave a comment back. And as always, be safe, be kind. God bless everyone. I'll catch you next time.